Hi, my name is Miss Kate and welcome to Fine Motor Friday. If this is your first video, I recommend that you go back to the beginning of the playlist and start at video one. Um, but just a quick refresher, I'm one of the OTs who works with the preschool students and these videos are just about different games or, or tools that we can use at home to work on some of the fine motor skills that would we would be learning if we were in preschool in person right now. But since we aren't, uh, I thought I would make some of these videos just to help out. Last week's video was about games because I know the kids don't always want to do work all the time. And this week's video is going to be a continuation of that a little bit um, because I bought some games. And then I'm going to include some of the versions that you can kind of DIY at home that I made. Um, I made some for some of my students and I'm going to be sending those out to my guys now. But again, just as per usual, um, if you do any of these activities with our little people, you want to be with them the whole time just because some of our uh, toys and games we use have small parts that can be a, a choking hazard and we don't want that. All right, and if you have any questions or any requests for videos, please just let your teacher know and I am happy to make anything that you guys are interested in. Um, different crafts, different activities, just let me know. Okay, so the first game that I'm going to show you is da, 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 the froggy feeding game, which is in that age range for our little people in preschool. Um, this is my first time buying the foggy froggy feeding game because I usually make the DIY kind of version because um, it was a little expensive. But this is what it does. It works on fine motor skills. Um, like I said before, any of these types of similar things, color recognition, counting, there's a lot of different things that we learn doing different games. So what the purpose is, you hand strength, right, by opening his mouth. And I'm using my own tweezers because I wanted to, to pick up the little fly that you're supposed to feed Mr. Froggy. So we open and put in. So right, you can um, ask your child to give me the blue fly or give me the green fly. And again, they can pick up with their fingers and put in Froggy's mouth. Now, this is very beautiful and it's, I'm happy I have it, but there is a DIY version that I have used before and then I made a couple for my students. Please forgive me if it's not very pretty, <laughs> but this is my Feed the Froggy game. And I just used, I think I've talked a bit before about palms, you know, little palm balls. So here's just a handful. I was storing them inside. So it's the same type of thing that we can use tweezers if we want to pick up. And then we squeeze, open the mouth and feed the frog or, you know, Miss Frog. As, as I have given it red lips. <laughs> um, but again, this is just, you know, these were dollar store um, palms that I got. I got a ball from Target. Um, I will say when cutting the hole, um, this is quite tricky because um, it's rubber and it's hard and it's definitely um, something to be done with care. And if you don't think you can do it safely, don't, don't do it at all because um, you don't want to get hurt. That's important. Um, yeah, if, if your classroom wants some, just again, ask your teacher and um, I'm happy to help anyone out with that. I'm here to help, right? Okay. Uh, we are all on the same team. So a different game. This one, I don't know how to DIY, but it's really fun. So I'm gonna show you anyway. I just wanna note the activities that we were doing before. So the Feed the Frog, the fancy version and the DIY version, we were working on doing this, um, you know, motion and building strength in that part of the hand and this would be why we do that right because we're building strength to use scissors um, other ways and I know a lot of people are a little hesitant to use scissors with our little people and I respect that um, which is why there's other ways to to build the foundational skills that they're they're learning in class right um, you know not all the time the kids are using scissors in preschool um, you know sometimes we're playing games like that or with the tennis ball or we're using a hole punch which again we're building that strength. I got mine from the dollar store. Um, just another way to work on that skill where we aren't using the, um, the scissors. If that's not something that we're, we're comfortable with right now, that's okay. All right, now I'll move on to the next game. Okay, the next game is Papa Pirate. I don't know if he has a name, but I've named my guy Pete. 
Uh, this game is good, I think, for children who are four plus. So our last game was three plus, this one's four plus. I know our preschoolers come over in a variety of ages, but you get this little, um, and I've seen this in some of the classrooms, this little thing here. We put it in, it's a little bit like Pop Goes the Weasel because you keep going until, <laughs> didn't think that would happen, <laughs> until he pops up. So the things that kids are working on while using this game, um, one, if we're playing with a, a sibling at home, turn taking, that's important, um, but just holding things correctly as we're placing them in the barrel, right? We're using those two fingers, holding nicely. Um, again, you can work on color recognition. Um, you know, are you going to use the blue or the red or the yellow or the green? Um, and it's just fun. Uh, again, you don't need any of these toys. I just figured some people might have some of these things at home. And I wanted to talk about the benefits of different games that we have. And if I can show you a DIY version, I like to. All right, and I will show you one more game that I enjoy using. Okay, and the last game that I think is fun, uh, this one is Squigs, and this is for children who are uh, three years and older. So again, these are kind of small parts. So this is one of those moments where we definitely want to be with an adult because we don't want to eat this. Um, that's choking hazard. But so when do we use Squigs? Why do we use Squigs? Um, lots of different reasons but you can say like motor planning like if you made one like this or i made one like this can you make one like me um, again we work on colors we can work on counting so you can see you just kind of squish the suction cups together and we can just keep building and they stick on well, I'm sticking them on each other and actually on the top of the container because that's what I have available, but I put them on windows before and on tables before. Let's see how I can make this one work. Da -da -da -da. So I'm squishing this together. Let's see, can I do it without breaking it? And squish. Okay, so we could count how many feet it has. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, um, So again, just another fun way to work on these skills that the kids are using in preschool. Um, counting, color recognition, pattern recognition. Um, again, you don't need to buy anything. We have a lot of different ways that we can play the same type of games. Um, you know, the, the froggy feeding fun had the fancy little flies, but we have palms, right? We use palms a lot at school because um, they're a good deal. Um, when we go to the dollar store, you can get a lot of them. And then we don't, you know, need to use scissors if we aren't comfortable using scissors. If we're more comfortable trying, you know, the, the hole puncher, that's an option to kind of build that hand strength still um, that it takes to squeeze the scissors. Um, I know I've talked a lot about before about Play-Doh. Um, if you don't want to make Play-Doh at home, they have these cute little tubs um, and you can get, you know, different colors. And yeah, so I'm going to keep it short today. If you have any questions or if you want any videos about a specific topic, please let your teacher know. I'm happy um, to make specific videos if anybody has any concerns uh, about scissor skills or pencil skills or anything like that. But anyway, these are the, some of the games that I enjoy using, and I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye.